Jenny and I decided to divide the lateral cartilage into three sections, even though it is one continuous sheet of cartilage. We thought describing the function of the three different regions would make it easier to explain how each individual section interacts with the hoof capsule and the tissues surrounding it. So the upper section is the area above the coronary band. This is the cartilage that's covered in skin and can be easily palpated. The middle section sits in the coronary groove of the hoof capsule, is covered in chorea that grows the periopal and the walls, and it adds structure to the heel bulb area. The lower section sits deep within the hoof capsule. It's covered in dermal lamina of both the heels and the bars, as well as solar papillae. Externally, these tissues produce the seed of corn that we see on the bottom of the hoof. We call that, we decided to refer to that area as the anatomical heel or the internal seed of corn. In this slide, the upper section was cut and removed right where the periopelic and coronary chorea cover the cartilage. If the capsule was still on the hoof, this would be right at the coronary band. Notice how the strip of cartilage extends all the way back to the point of the heel bulb. We can see that better in this image. This angle shows clearly how the middle section of the cartilage extends back and gives shape to the heel bulb. And in this next image, it highlights how this area is covered in the chorea that grows the periopal and the wall tubules of the heel quarters and the bars.